So, tell me, what do you do when you go to a theatre, a play, a movie, whatever? Do you maybe walk in, take your jacket off, go get a drink, have a chat to somebody? Or do you walk in, throw a fucking mine on the stairs, equip your detonator, push the fucking button and blow everyone's sky fucking high? Yeah! Uh... So yeah, I do the latter. Now in all seriousness, there are plenty of ways in each mission of Blood Money that you can assassinate your targets and all are good fun. For instance, in this mission you have two targets, one named Alvaro Dalvade and one named Richard Delahunt, the former being an actor and suspected child molesterer and the latter being a corrupt politician involved with the former in a child prostitution ring. Therefore, it is of no surprise why these two men are wanted dead. Now, in this mission, you can take the approach of swapping fake guns with real ones and watching your hit take place before your very eyes, or you can even take a more hands-on approach and take place of the actor and kill the cunt yourself before crushing the concerned politician to death. Ah! Heck, you can even bring your trusty old sniper along with you and kill from afar. Or you could just place the mine at the door, walk away, push the button and blow that motherfucker sky fucking high! Yeah! Oh wait, I've already done that bit. Mind you, out of these scenarios, each can take a lot of patience and I always find that in some cases an annoying fucking glitch always likes to take away my silent assassin rating and insert a bunch of witnesses to knock me down to professional. Why the fuck that is, I just don't know. But rest assured, today I'm going to show you a way that you can achieve silent assassin on this mission without having to wait in cupboards for fucking immensely long periods of time. In fact, this otherwise lengthy and rather boring mission can be knocked off in under 10 minutes. How, you ask? Well, unless you've already found the solution on the internet, let me find an entertaining way of showing you. Crack a left as soon as you enter the opera, and head for that side door to the left there. Open the door and head down the step. Ah, oh, fuck, who saw me? Ah, oh, the fucking police officer. I wonder if he'll follow me down the stairs. Come- Ah! Oh. Okay, to avoid that problem again, I'm going to talk to the receptionist to kill some time. Okay, so that should have gotten rid of the first cop, so now I'm going to try and discreetly make my way down the stair- Oh, for fuck's sake! Another bloody police officer! Come in. Come on. Yep, I know, I'm not supposed to be in here. I'm on my way out. Here I go, see? Walking past you, just doing the right thing here, and now I die. Oh. Damn it, they saw me. Okay, so this time I'm going to go straight to the receptionist counter, get the World War One pistol from the jacket, and then wait around for a little while, shortly following this painter back down the stairs. <coughs> then of course I'm going to suit up with his clothes and drag his limp, lifeless body down the stairs, and pop it into a nearby body-side storage container that nobody for some reason ever checks. Continuing my way through the workers' quarters now, I toggle this light and pick the lock so that no one sees me in the dark, open this door, climb this flight of stairs and continue to the next area, making way to yet another flight of stairs that will lead me up to the lighting area. Now here I'll just place the bomb, right fucking here, and you'll see what that's for later. Having just placed my bomb, I'll make my way down the same stairs that I just climbed up, through these double doors, through these double doors, through this curtain, down these stairs, around this corner, through this door, through these double doors, up and up this wire surface. Which will lead me to a secluded area behind the stage, giving me a perfect spot to shoot the fuck out of this prick. All I need to do is wait for the right moment, which for those of you that don't know is when the fellow actor is pretending to execute him in the play rehearsal. Guess what? It's the right moment. Yeah, hey, I know it's a play and all, but it kind of feels like someone actually shot me. Yeah, I think that, yep, somebody definitely shot me. <laughs> so having realised that his partner in crime is dead, Richard Delahunt makes his way down to the stage to see what's going on. Right where I want him, in fact, as I now will detonate the bomb, dropping the boom beside him? Oh, for fuck's sake! How the fuck could I miss that? That bullshit fuck-up has completely destroyed my entire mission's progress! Fuck! Okay, so now we're going to- uh, Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm stuck in the damn door. <sighs> Okay, so now we are going to get the World War One gun from the jacket, wait for the worker in green in the bathroom, sedate the worker taking a piss in the bathroom this time, take his clothes, hide his body, run through the same tunnels as before, go up to the same light stage area as before, except this time we will put the bomb in the next room above the chandelier. Run back down, make your way back through the double doors, through the next double doors, through the curtain, down the stairs, around the corner, through the door, through the double doors, climb the same wire trellis, wait for the moment to strike, kill the child molesting prick, Go. run back out, get to the play area, wait for the fat lazy ambassador to run through the doors, detonate the bomb just before the clumsy fuck trips, and drop the fucking chandelier right on top of him. No. Now we'll go back into the bathroom, change back into the suit, and get the fuck out of here. <sighs> 
And there you go, folks, how to get Silent Assassin on curtains down quickly, and what should have been fucking easily, if not for that tiny little mishap with the stage boom not falling where it was fucking supposed to. But, the bright side is that we got there in the end. I hope you enjoyed episode 2 of my Let's Play series of Hitman Blood Money, and tune in next time when I tackle the next mission chronologically in the Blood Money story. Flatline. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button below, and for more videos like this one, as well as video game reviews, gameplay commentaries, and other game-related media, swing over to my channel, and hey, you could always subscribe.